Greetings, I am live. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play a game, game together. together. All right. All right. <sighs> I, funnel cake. I'm just like, but I want funnel cake. Oh, uh, I'm <clears throat> with the neglected funnel cake cooling off, the three of us focus on putting away our sugary rewards after that. We're each walking different paths, but I can't say any of us are willing to settle for anything less than our dreams. In the long run. Sorry, the, the microphone cord was really distracting there. I'm like, whoa. I, well, that, uh, that would make multiple times today when it's been driving you insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the long run. In the long run. In the long run. Uh, foosh, bye. Hmm. hmm. Who to hang out with? Because we didn't do anything important during the thingy. So Juniper and Francine are shopping for souvenirs. Naomi and Teo are raiding a candy store. I... I don't... I don't think Lies wants any more food. So I think we're going to be souvenirs. Sure. Why not? Let's, like, let's do some Juniper and Francine. Seen, yep. Juniper and Francine. Juniper and Francine are looking at a little map of the boardwalk. It highlights all the shops, cafes, and art galleries along the route. Ooh, art galleries. Ooh. I don't know if Lies cares, but I like them. Yeah, right. I overheard them discussing it earlier in the day. Like, art galleries and libraries are a real good way to get me out. Yeah. I just like to see creations. Mm-hmm. And it looks like they might have found one. Mm-hmm. I, I I still want to know, like, what kind of friendships Juniper has formed with the various different people here, you know? Right. Like, I would like to know that. All right, go ahead. At your home, looky, there is one called Drift Away. Cute. Oh, and they also do wine tasting. I am a fan of wine and tasting it. <laughs> That's true. A nice after entre Merlot is always a nice treat, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> Juniper and Francine are quite the odd couple, aren't they? But when I reflect on it, they've actually been spending some time together at the Funplex. I, I guess hey, so. Hey, you can do that. That is a good way to be like, ah, I now can tell you part of the story you weren't there for, and it's okay. Right. Juniper is a self-proclaimed old lady at heart, after all. That's new, though. I, so it's no okay. wonder they bonded over knitting, cats, and costume jewelry. Okay, that's adorable. Uh, it is kind of cute. Uh, my, my inner grandma, babushka, is coming out. My, my I, inner grandma. Hi, grandma is here. Ah. Hey, uh, mind if I join you? Of course not. Francine and I are just deciding on which art gallery to visit first. Ah. I've been in the market to find a unique sculpture made from driftwood. And what better place to get one than at the beach itself? That does seem like a wise choice. There is this one place that I must visit again. It's called Seascapes, and it's been open since I was a child. Oh. I know it's hard for you to imagine, but yes, old Francine was once young and spirited, just like yourself, Lies. Actually, when she went off about, you know, the incredibly passionate lover that her husband was, it really made me go, you, you have been young and fiery. So you know what? I actually have thought about it. Uh, yes, <laughs> it, it's true, actually. I bet you were the talk of the boardwalk, breaking all the hearts. That's <laughs> cute. Oh, a lady never spills her secrets. But yes, I had did have my fair share of summer romance here along the boardwalk. Ooh, go on. This I must know. Well, there was this one time that I snuck out in the middle of a moonlit night to meet my lover. It was quite exhilarating. Of course, we simply had to go skinny dipping, She's which adorable. is not a plot point that I haven't heard multiple times in many <laughs> stories. It's true. Please. No. Stop. Wait, what? I, what? Why? Why? I... Hang on. Okay. If there's one thing, one thing I definitely don't need to know more of, it's my boss's love life. I already too, know too much from my interview with Francine. T-M-I. I... You really have no interest in finding out who she is as a person, do you? That is... That's a little rough. Also, different? Uh, for me, I'm okay. also like... I don't know that anyone else has shared their love life, so I don't know what, like, Lia's standpoint is on that sort of thing. Yeah, so I'm like, But I'm also like, about? is this, like, an ageism thing? Going, you're old, I don't want to think about you and sex? I... Or is this more like, you're my boss, and I don't want to think about you and sex? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think it sounds more whenever weird. I've ever had reactions to something like that really has mostly been like, you're my boss, and I don't want to think about you like that. It's kind of like, I'm supposed to be thinking of you in a certain way, and this just sort of... Because you abuse me in so many other ways, I don't really want to try to think of you in, like, where people get to share friend cool things about each other or funny things about their lives, if that makes sense. Could be. It was specifically love life. It was a little wild. All right. right. TMI. 
So, I interject. Seascapes. Uh, what was the name of that uh, gallery? That was the name? That was the name of the gallery? Uh, let's go there. Now, shall we? Uh, well, wait, wait. I didn't catch it the first time. But did you say Seascapes? The Seascapes? The oldest art gallery on the boardwalk? I am easily distracted. I'm also like, you guys have been looking at the directory for like... Three hours based on my uh, flow chart, you know? Yeah, so. <laughs> right? I, the one and only. There is a lot of history in these old coastal towns. And Francine didn't tell you about the, her plan at all this whole time? Oh, of course not. No, Why we were just that? reading things. Now, it also has an eerie past. Didn't you know? Didn't you know? Didn't you know? Seascapes is totally haunted. Look at the little lip bite. Uh, Francine lets out a snort. Let be sensible. Oh, sweet child, that's preposterous. Ghosts aren't real. All right, I'm going to propose the same thing you did about the funnel cake, that basically they've been shopping this whole time and then and buying or looking at various different things. Friend. What? Friend. What? What happened to her shoulders? I'm not sure what happened Whoa. to her arm. Whoa. It changed I... when she changed her face. Yeah, those. I don't know. Um, is that, a, I think, that's that part is of her an outfit. art error. That, yeah. yeah, that's ooh. Could okay, be. sorry. That just really distracted me. I was like, "Whoa!" No, I noticed it. Did I she just assumed bit it was on... an error. Yeah. No, I say, but I was gonna say is that basically they've been shopping and doing a lot of window shopping and stuff. And then when we rejoined them, they were looking at the the uh, basically the guide again. Right. Because otherwise, again, it's like you really were just doing this one thing for that entire time. Right. The candy store would be harder to explain. <laughs> I, depending. Honestly, you can get lost in some candy shops. Like, dang. Like five hours like, in a candy whoa. shop. That'd be impressive. Honestly, right. yes. But the Boardwalk Paranormal Society has deemed Seascapes the most haunted place on the coast. As the story goes, the previous owner purchased a particularly gorgeous painting. But what the owner didn't know is that that painting was being possessed with a, was being possessed with a demonic, possessed by a demonic spirit. Uh, was possessed. It would either be being possessed by or was possessed with. I, I think they tried to do the sentence both ways and didn't um, completely edit it out. Yeah, that's what I'm like. That would be my guess. Huh? I being possessed with a demonic spirit. Soon after buying the art and hanging it up in the gallery, the owner got very ill. It was a mysterious illness that was very ill, and that <sighs> made them very ill. So it was waifu no. disease, oh, just no. like Rena has. Oh no, that no one could cure. Eventually, the gallerist passed. I didn't know they were called gallerists. I didn't know that either. That's great. I assume. And their ghost has haunted seascapes to this day. I, but the, you know, demonic painting hasn't been a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Curiosity's got me, and after having experienced some unexplainably spooky stuff in the recent-ish past, I pull out my phone and look it up. I Hi. was really just like, we had the Polybius thing, so you know what? Paranormal is not outside of my belief system. Juniper's not lying. I've heard several spooky stories about this art gallery. Maybe it's haunted by the memories of the past, but surely you can't believe in such childish superstitions. Oh, Lies. Talk some sense into Juniper. What? What? Me? Why does that matter? Come Why on, can't Juniper lies? just be creeped out and go there? Back me up on this. Well, uh, the truth is, I totally believe in ghosts. Ghosts aren't real. They're unexplained in this th things in this world, but I, I don't really like any of those. I mean, Polybius was a wild fucking experience. Like, I'd just uh -huh. be like, I that felt like a ghost to me. That felt like an unexplained thing. I was going to say there are unexplained things in this world, but then it came to butt, and so I don't know. I'm like, but I really the... was just going to go, there are unexplained things in this world. Right? All right. Uh, so, which one? So, I think I totally believe in ghosts. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be get closer to Juniper. Ghosts aren't real. It's supposed to be not get closer to Juniper. And then neutral is unexplained things in this world, but this is what I am feeling like, because these ones are all so dichotomized. <sighs> And since we can't date Francine, ghosts aren't real isn't getting us closer to her. Right? You know? At I least I assume. She hasn't been on our rating list. Uh, neither is Juniper. She hasn't? She's not on our list. Oh, God, I didn't even notice that she wasn't there. Uh, I thought she was in the ratings with all the other people every time we finished a chapter. I remember she's not on our list. Okay. At least I could be wrong, but I swear she's not there. Maybe I am wrong. Okay, we usually have... Teo and... Um, Teo and Queen Bee and, and Queen Percy, Bee. Percy and Gavin and Ashley. There's usually six there because it's three and three. 
And then Naomi. Naomi. That's oh, six. Oh, that's six. And she's not usually there. Or, I, that's I'm like, I... I don't know. I feel like we'd be like, I don't want to be involved in this argument or have it happening. I'm still going to go, there are unexplainable things in this world, but, which I don't know what means, but I'm hoping it's not bad. I don't know either, because I'm like, Polybius is totally a thing we did. Right. I'm not sure if I believe 100% in ghosts. At the manor, there was some weird goings on with the Polybius, but is it fair to call it paranormal? That I'm... isn't quite what I wanted to go for, but there we go. <sighs> yeah. Maybe it's just math and microchips, like Ira said. I'm still waiting on science to prove me right or wrong on that. In good faith, I can't choose either one. Nothing in this world can prove or disappear it, prove the reality of ghosts. I sure, sure, I enjoy a spooky ghost story as much as the next person, but do I believe them? <sighs> Fair enough. We've watched enough ghost bros to know that sometimes people overreact in those situations. It's true. And I can't ignore that I do love an entrancingly scary story. There we go. So, we're all in agreement then. We're not going to be arguing anymore. And we're not uh, going to have some weird, like, strangely sort of pseudo, like, super disappointed you didn't pick a toy for me comment, basically. Yeah, pretty much. This, this was much better. I am still confused by that. It's yeah. fine. It did seem like they both sort of judged your choice instead of going, hey, good job. You yeah, know? right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Two seascapes. Yay! Spooky or otherwise. Ha-ha! <laughs> One short walk down the boardwalk later, and we arrive at... Oh, well... King Boo's Palace. I don't notice anything overtly haunted. I mean, the building itself isn't dilapidated, but it could use a new paint job and a new fence and maybe upgrade the windows? Woo! Uh, being right on the boardwalk with wide open doorways, we can walk right in and hopefully not have the whole thing collapse on top of us. I, it's not overly dilapidated, but we're worried about it collapsing. That sounds pretty dilapidated. Right. Okay, so it's a mess of a building compared to the other shops along the boardwalk, but... It adds to the historic charm. Sounds like somebody has not been conserving that building well. At all. There is a way to preserve historical buildings, my bro. Ooh. But to its defense, it does have a sign in the window that says free wine tasting, so I know Juniper will be ecstatic about that. Yes! Ooh! Mm. Free wine tastings! As if on cue. Huh. I'm so thrilled. It hasn't changed in years. Still looks like how I remember it. Huh. Francine takes a deep breath as a smile creases her wrinkled cheeks. Why do we need to... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I, I just... I, get, I f Okay, so there's this thing that keeps happening. Whether people are... Like, anytime there's an older character in a game, it feels like the person commentating on them always specifies wrinkles or crow's feet or crinkles or something like that. Like, it's always... You have to talk about the wrinkles on their face. Like... Do you think we're going to forget how aging works? Or is that what you're looking at instead of the fact that they're smiling? Like, I never really notice wrinkles on people unless I'm not engaged with them at all. At all, yeah. And so for me, like, if I'm looking at the wrinkles on someone's face when they're smiling, it's because I'm not paying attention to what they're saying or what's going on. Uh -huh. And so it always feels weird to me, like you're just stepped out of the conversation going, yep, she's just talking, and I'm watching the experience of her face, which maybe people do, but then you're sort of just specifically going, what's important to say about her is that she has wrinkles, and I don't know. I just feel like that just sort of diminishes people who have what we consider to be the signs of aging by specifically going, that's how I will define you as a character. And also, again, with the whole pointing out of going, oh my god, I don't want to hear about your love life is especially frustrating because that is actually a real issue that people go, my elderly parent basically ended up in, you know, a retirement home and I ended up boinking with other people and I was extremely angry about it because they're not supposed to be boinking and that's gross. And you're like, mm. but they're happy? I like, say, what? Like, I've heard actually some some really, what I found to be personally kind of disturbing stories where people were like, I'm so offended that my parent, where one of my other parents had died, um, they ended up dating someone in the retirement home so that they were in, and the... There is more taboo in reference to one's own parents. I know. Because a lot of people don't like to think of their parents having sex, even though many kids would not exist without their parents having sex. Shockingly. I'm not saying that's the only way to have a child, because adoption, totally oh, a thing. But God, yeah. the thing is is like uh, many, many people's parents and, and couples do have the sex and there is this sort of like prejudice against that that's different but when I worked at a nursing home for my very first real job right. it really was like all of the young CNAs and nurses would kind of just mock and tease that some of the um, like the patron like the um, the uh, people there the clientele had sex with each other or had relationships they'd be like oh my god it was the most disgusting thing uh... and so I'm like it's really none of your business and you only think it's disgusting because basically you are you have you're an ageist yeah 
We have some serious problems with that sort with of stuff. With ageism. Yeah. Anyway, so this smacks of that, and it kind of bothers me. All yeah. right. Um, so I just felt like your example, specifically saying parents, would, would set off more people than just being old people in general. Yeah, no, I, I know. But it was the only way I could really think of it. Because like, some people really do take it, though, that personal of going on. Like, I don't want to know about it just because, in general, no. Which is why I was like, going yeah. more general to order yeah. people than just parents is probably more accessible. Eh, but right. I don't mean to shut you down. Oh, well, thanks. All right. <clears throat> The only other time I've seen her this elated is when she's talking about the funplex. Other times, sorry. She takes a moment's pause before walking through the door. Juniper looks over at me, side-eyed. See, her arm's fixed now. So when her arm was down, yeah, no, no, like when she was grabbing it, that's where the error came in. I, well, Juniper looks over at me, side-eyed? I don't know how that means. Like, I know that they're starting to say they look at you from the side, like they're using a side-eye or giving you the side-eye, but, like, I've never heard it side-eyed instead of, like, looks at me sideways. But... So that's a new phrase for me. All right, that's new to me. So let's hope the only th scary thing about this place isn't just their selection of reds. Mm -hmm. Oof. I hold back a cackle as I push open the door. You said the doors were completely open. All right. Wide Wait. open welcoming doors. Yeah, you said that they opened directly onto the boardwalk, literally like everything else. What? Game? No, like, I, I got no, the impression no. that they were opened, not open onto, you know, like, not open I onto, know yeah, what you're know. talking about, but I'm a like, you could have doors rings. that you could close, but yeah. I'm saying, like, I, I didn't just... think they were closed. I thought they were open. You know, also, I'm saying, and like, airy, the other ones have you? open. Yeah. Yeah. A small bell rings, as with most small shops on the Strip, alerting the gallery owner of our arrival. Yeah, it sounded like it was open air and you could uh -huh. just walk right in. Yeah. Paintings adorn the walls, beautiful scenes of the ocean, sea life, and the boardwalk itself, each having its own unique style. There are copper statues of whale flukes and colorful glass-blown orbs mixed in among the paintings. I feel really bad for those paintings because all my brain is going like, if it is actually open, now that they've decided to point this out again, I didn't realize how much that uh, I had forgotten that paintings will react really badly to seawater. It depends so, on your painting and how it's sealed. I know, but I'm like, on average, they do talk about basically having humidity control and well, everything else. And I'm like, ooh, I hope those paintings move fast because they're going to get destroyed. It depends on whether it's a gallery or whether it's an art shop, basically. Right. So some places that are what I could call an art shop call themselves galleries because they sell original art instead mm. of prints and stuff. Right. Um, or they sell mostly original art, you know? And then other places that are galleries, you come, you look, you do not buy. Ah. You buy souvenirs of things. And then that is like more like a, you know, that is a place where it's more like you really want to protect the stuff, you mm -hmm. know? Anyway, several people are talking in hushed tones around the gallery. And I notice Francine has already wandered over to an impressive selection of driftwood creations. Over here, dearies. I think I found the one. Good job. Oh, Freddy, you've been here for five minutes. No, I haven't gotten any like wine. <laughs> Honey, when you're as old as I am, you don't have that much time to sit around and deliberate about art. You go with what feels right. Follow your heart and all that jazz. I still love Juniper's pink sunglasses. I, they are pretty cute, honestly. But I wanted to peruse the art a bit more. I was hoping maybe a ghastly hand would grab my shoulder. Or maybe I'd see an actual ghost. I will say that just because someone's <laughs> found their purchase doesn't mean you need to leave a shop. All right. All right. There we go. We can stay as long as you'd like. I'm in no rush. Mm -hmm. Also, I could literally sit outside and you could stay in here, dear. It's fine. Please. Yes! Come at me, ghosties! I I am ready. Hangs one leg out of the covers off the edge of the bed. Oh, no. Monsters, I am ready. I actually just want to say, oh, it'd be such a terrible time if a vampire was to come along when I am just really just very attractive in my veins, very prominent and beautiful, <laughs> and I hang out just like crazy. <laughs> like, just got you tap them, fame, man. It's just... <laughs> I, like, the thirst posts around Halloween have been getting funnier and the funnier. The vampire thirst posts. Or, like, the werewolf one. Yeah, they're hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, <clears throat> so Francine, uh, what did you decide on? As a kid, visiting art galleries was never my prerogative, so I had no idea the amount of things you could make out of driftwood. Stick wreaths, candle holders, tables. You'd be surprised. People who aren't used to art will go in and go, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And you're like, I am so glad you're in awe because I've seen five million versions of this if you're in art all the time. Yeah. Not to say the art isn't distinctive and good, but it's just interesting to take someone who isn't into art at all. Yeah. Because there's this level of, I'm completely at awe, but why would you ever do that? I don't, right. You know? So there's a level of, like, awe mixed with disinterest. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. Francine points to a heart weaved together from several sea-worn branches. Simple and meaningful. 
That's adorable. <sighs> it reminds me not only of the many times my late husband and I would visit the beach, but it also reflects my love for the ocean itself. Cute. Oh, how romantic. I hope one day my partner will buy me something like that. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Lies, you have been my partner in crime for forever, and I want to get something to remember this trip by. Immediately, come here. I will call you my partner right after I said my partner. <laughs> 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 Extremely subtle, this one. Such subtle. If you have the coin, I'm sure Seascapes has the wares. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. But what should I get? Will you help me choose something? I mean, it ended up going in our apartment, so you should get to say in this. All right, well, let's see. <gasps> Well, we're out of time! We'll have to see you in the next one! So, thank you very much, everybody, actually, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was great playing with you. Bye!